channel. I hope you're all doing good. So today we've got an Aldi haul. Thought, why not show you what I picked up this week as I needed to do quite a big shop, you know, and pick up like basics, you know, that you don't run out of very often. So I picked up a few bits, thought I would share them with you. Obviously I've been doing like what I eat in a week kind of things with diabetes. So I thought I would show you what I picked up this week. This will probably last us two weeks or so. And I got all this stuff for £85 and 10p. Just so you believe me, because there's a lot of stuff here, but we love Aldi. So if you are interested in what I picked up, please keep watching. And yes, this is relatively healthy, but it's not relatively healthy. It's a balance. It's very much a balance. So there's a few treats in there, but there's also some good bits too. So let's get straight on into this haul. We'll start with the salads and veg. Salad and veg. Veg, fruit and veg. Wow. Well done, Lauren. So I just picked up these small kids' apples. I actually like the pink apples just because I need to get some more fruit into my diet. I picked up a cucumber, some seedless red grapes. I then picked up some Maris Pipers because they are the best potato. And Aldi actually had the Savoy cabbage today, which I'm buzzing about because normally they only have the sweetheart, but Savoy cabbage is the one. I then picked up a sweet leaf salad and then two lots of the watercress, spinach and rocket. So that's all like the fruit and veg stuff that I picked up. We'll then go on to sweet treats because we're here. Obviously you guys know if you've been here a while then I can't really snack on a lot of stuff like this. But every now and then I like a couple of biscuits at the weekend. And obviously I'm not here on my own. Dan does live here as well. I always love to pick up these. These are the triple chocolate cookies. They've got these in just normal chocolate chip. And I think they've got like white chocolate and raspberry or something. I mean, the carbs on these, for one, is 52 per cookie, but sometimes I just rip off little bits if I just want fancy something, like, quite chocolatey. I picked up two bourbons, because can you get better than a bourbon? Absolutely not. And then I picked up these two cookies and creams. We're not bothered about brands or anything like that, so these taste pretty much exactly the same. And then I just picked up a plain dairy milk and a fruit and nut. Again, I like to pick every now and then a couple of pieces of chocolate just as a sweet snack so that's the all like the sweet bits then move over to here and we've just got four packets of chicken flavored noodles i've got four tins of tuna in brine and then i saw this and i've never had this before so it's savory chicken rice and it says chicken rice that has light and delicate tester, text, tester, texture. So I think these were like 49p. So I thought, why not pick those up? And then we've got 12 British large eggs. So that is like that section. I then picked up a few bags of crisps. So they're doing, Aldi are doing their own like sensations. They're called perfections. So I got the roast chicken and thyme and I got two of the sweet chili crisps because we already did have a few packets of like you know your regular salt and vinegar all that jazz so let's take you over to the other side of my kitchen where we have a few more things i'm just following it round there's no like rhyme or reason to this video just what i picked up it's probably going to be a very short video but i just i'm nosy so i love to see things like this so if you're nosy like me then tell me down in the comments and give this video a big thumbs up Let's carry on and see what else we picked up. So next we'll go on to like toiletry wise. I picked up this pack of 24 toilet rolls. I think that's like five pounds something, which unreal. Love that toilet roll. And it lasts you for ages. So then you don't have to keep buying it. Picked up some kitchen towels, as I call it, kitchen roll. I then picked up two of these flushable toilet wipes because you know, people got to use the toilet. A household surface wipes. I've been meaning to pack, pick up a pack of them for ages and I keep forgetting. Lemon. I love anything citrus. And then I picked up a pack of baby wipes because you can never go wrong. You always need them for something. So they are a necessity in my shop. I'm sounding very raspy also, so apologies for that. I'm not sure what's going on. And then I just picked up two of the sensitive men's deodorant and just one of the women's. 
cans. So these are all sugar free. Again, I'm not going to keep saying it, but diabetes. So we've got the Tropical Blast. These taste just like a Rio or a Lil. They're that kind of vibe. So I've got two boxes of those. We've got Diet Lemonade and then we've also got Zero Sugar Coke, which is mostly mine. And then I just picked up a bottle of Cordial and it's Apple and Black Currant Double Strength Squash. So now we can move on to like fridge wise. We've got light mature cheddar cheese, coleslaw for Dan, I don't like that. Red pepper hummus, literally a fave of mine. I wanted to get some carrot batons as well, but they didn't have any, so a bit gutted about that. We've got some slices of ham, Greek style cheese, and then I saw this, and it's like um, a protein fitness pudding, but obviously I'm not really bothered about the protein, but it was quite low in carbs. It was 4.8 carbs. So I thought that was really good. I thought I'd try it. I'm not really a yogurt fan, but this is more like a chocolate pudding, it says. So I'm going to try it and see it how it goes. Because sometimes you just want like that sweet treat. So I thought, why not give it a go and see what it's like. I might hate it, but 4.8 grams, I can't argue with that. So we've done all that. We've got mayo. And then I saw this one, Peri Peri Mayo, so Nando's. Who's Nando's? This was like £1.99 or something. And then I saw these, which I've not seen in there before. And again, it's the, like, knockoff um, Nando's. I think these are like 89p. So we've got the medium. And then I also got the garlic. So you can marinate it or just use it as a sauce. But I thought, I mean, it's literally the same thing, isn't it? They're basically made in the same places anyway. So I want to try those, see how good they are. We've then got a bolognese and a tub of olives because I love to pick on olives but I also love to put olives in uh, my salad. So, love that for us. We'll move on to meat now. Um, we're not impartial to a burger in our house so I've just got some quarter pounders there. I then picked up two lots of this lean beef steak mince. This is like the medium sized pack. It's quite big, 750 grams in this one. Because I find when I make shepherd's pies and things, the 500 doesn't quite make enough. So I think, I just thought I'll pick two of those up. And then picked up these. I saw these and I thought they look delightful. Chicken and chorizo kebabs. And then I also picked up the barbecue beef kebabs as well. Because they we had those for a barbecue not long ago. They were really nice. And these just sounded gorgeous. So I thought I'd pick those up. I also picked up two packs of these, again, to snack on. I love these kind of things. Spicy chorizo and chili cheddar rolitos. Two of those. And then I also picked up two of these, which are the paprika and chili marinated prawns. They also do parsley and something else. Is it parsley? No, it might not be parsley. I might have just made that up. Anyway, these are lovely. And I, I have these for my lunch a lot of the time, just on their own or sometimes on, like, a bun. And then with feta cheese on top, which is so nice. So I picked up two of those. And then we'll move on to the frozen bits. So I picked up a bag of curly fries because I don't care if you're an adult or a child. Like, you just can never go wrong with curly fries. I then picked up some sweet corn just because it's easier to keep it in the freezer. I know tins don't go off anyway, but it's just easier. I then saw these two and thought, we'll try those. So obviously the Cajun fries and the salt and pepper, I thought... Why not give it a go? See, you know, if we can create a at-home takeaway at the weekend, save ourselves some money because Aldi comes through with the cheap prices. So I'll let you know how they go. Also, if it's up these, these are like gold dust in Aldi right now. Sweet uh, salt and chili shredded chicken. So I picked up two of those. These go so so quickly, and they're really really nice actually. Um, they don't really taste like Chinese ones really, but they are lovely and whenever you go in they're always gone so they must definitely be a favourite so while we were there today I thought I'd pick up a couple of bags just so we're stocked up and then the last thing from the freezer is just this deep pan meat feast pizza this is for Dan I like a plain margarita and I don't really eat pizza as much anymore unfortunately but you know every now and then I like to treat myself you guys know it's not about me cutting out everything it's just being wary of what I've eaten already and just keeping count of the carbs so I do still eat whatever I want I just know if I've had a pizza that's probably all my carbs gone for that day vice versa if I have a chocolate biscuit it's normally about nine grams of carbs so 
you just got to weigh up what you prefer that day. And some days you might have all savoury and use it straight away and some days you might be able to make it last all day. So just a little interlude there for you. Nobody here cares about that, but here we are. And then last thing is just the bakery section. So I got the brioche buns for our burgers. I then pick up these. I love these and it's just the bake at home baguettes. Me and Dan have one of those each. That takes you quite high up on your carbs if anybody is here for that kind of information but it's worth it ham and coleslaw for dan i love a tuna baguette so i just picked up two packs of them really easy for a lunch 10 minutes in the oven simple i then picked up some plain bagel thins because sometimes i have a sandwich and this is the same amount of carbs as two slices of bread so i just thought i'd mix it up a little bit and go for a bagel and then we just got a toasty warburton's loaf so yeah if i spoke too fast throughout all of that apologies i do tend to do that but that is everything i picked up from aldi today if you did enjoy this video please do give it a big thumbs up if you were surprised by anything i picked up let me know down in the comments or if you have any favorites from aldi also let me know down there because i'll be scoping those out next time i go and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you next time for more videos bye guys Thank mm -hmm. you.